I've shown you in DaVinci Resolve how to draw a circle around this. Now I'm going to show you how to get that circle to track if this is moving up, down, side to side. So let's take a look and see how that's done. So we're going to come into DaVinci Resolve. We're going to select our clip here. We're going to go to the Fusion page. Then we're going to start off with the Planar Tracker. So the easy way to get that up is click your media in one, and then hit shift and space. And now this brings up the select tool and we can do planar tracker. Let's add that, adds it right here into the node tree. Now what we want to do is we want to draw around the object that we want to track. And in this case, it's going to be this red ball. So we'll just do a dot, dot, keep doing dots around it. And then reconnect it back up again. Make sure it's connected. Now, the one thing that you can do is you can zoom in and out of this picture if you need to. You can press the control key and then the scroll on your mouse. And I'm fine, I don't need to do that. So we're in operation mode track, leave it there like that. Depending on where we wanna track this from, I wanna track this from the beginning. So let me, if you see this red line here that I've got my mouse on, I'm gonna put that right to the start. We're going to go back up to the inspector and we're going to click the reference time. We're going to set. So that's going to set it to 6941, which is when this clip starts. And we're going to go to the end, which is 7653, but we'll leave that for now. We don't have to worry about that. And the tracker, you can either do a point tracker or we'll do a hybrid point and area tracker. Now the motion type is perspective um we're going to choose translation we could do translation and rotation so if this were to move if this were twist and turn we can actually get it to twist and turn with that this ball is not going to twist and turn so we're just going to do translation now i'm expecting that this is going to work uh with with the tracking so we can track forward we can track backwards or we can track by the frame individual frames and then readjust as we need to go I think this is going to work just fine. So what we're going to do now is on the reference time, there's a go button, click that go button and now go to tracking. And I'm going to track to the end. So I'm going to click that and we're going to let it do its magic. You're going to see it's got that ball. It's going to track that ball as I move it. So you should be able to see this happen in real time as it's happening. So there it goes up, tracking, there it goes down, tracking, I'm going to move it up again, and then I believe I'm going to do the side to side as we talked about, yep, so look at that. And just let it complete. I was going to complete the tracking just about done now it's done great now what we want to do is over in the inspector there's a create planner transform click that save that we're going to use that in a second so now i want to get my circle and we've seen how to draw a circle before so let's disconnect this our media out and what we need for that is we need the ellipse Get rid of that. disconnect that I want the background and I need that merge right here merge the thing that we're going to do in between all of those though and have this planar transform come in here just like before 
We connect the output output of the ellipse to the background, the input of the background. Now the background, before we did the output and we did that to the merge, but now we're gonna do this to the input of the planar transform. And the planar tracker, we're gonna have that connect to the merge one and then the merge output to the media out. There you go. So now, same rules. We've got to create our circle. So take that solid off. Zero five. Background. Color, we're going to do that blue. I think we connected this up incorrectly. It's not showing. So just a second here. Oh, it's not. There we go. Sorry, I didn't have it connected up before. So the output of the planar transform to the merge. So just like before, we're going to take our circle or our ellipse. I'm going to put that on here. Now let's see if that works. So we'll put this back to the start. Let's give it a test. that so it's following it where it goes so let's go back to our cut page where we were take a look and we have that circle stuck to that ball That's it. We're done. And that's how you draw a circle around an object and track it. Thanks for coming along on this one. We'll catch you in the next one. See ya.